going to take a look at the 120 pound bracket now. And guys, kind of a foregone conclusion with a guy like Nick Soriano for Kyle. He's just so special, so one of a kind that. Right, he's always trying to make that next step, always trying to be better the next day than he was the day before. He's 123 and 0 in his career, and obviously a favorite to win his third straight state championship. And his coach told me a story about when he was at the USA training camp for the world national team. Uh, he was training with Jordan Burroughs, and those were the last two guys in the gym, and that, that's kind of his attitude. He wants to be the hardest working guy in the state, the best guy in the state, the best guy in the country, and that's why Soriano is going to be one of the best in, in New Jersey state history. So obviously he'll be on the top half of the bracket. Down at the bottom, Bill, a guy, Zach Firestone from Clearview. Why don't you talk about him a little bit? Yeah, uh, you know, the guy on the top of that top, bottom half, the Ty Gazy from Del Martin, is also a state champ. Uh, Firestone, it was his fourth last year. He just won his second region title. And I've seen a lot of him this year. He, he's a guy that, that's taken a jump from, from last year. Uh, probably didn't wrestle as well at the regions as he has for most of the year, but you know, most of the time when I've seen him against some pretty good competition, he's a guy that's, you know, had that look of, of you know being a state champion. The, the only problem, of course, is the rest of the bracket, and especially the guy at the top. Um, you know, his his goal here is obviously to get to that final, get a shot at Soriano. But there's going to be some road bumps, and, and and one of those, Joe. There's a really good open match between Denzel Tovar and Anthony Rubinetti, and, and whoever gets through there has a shot to get through this half of the bracket. It's a tremendous opening round match. Uh, Denzel Tovar from Wall uh, is a kid who just finds a way to win bouts. That's what he's done all year long. He lost in the region final to Owen McClay from Tons River South in overtime. But Denzel Tovar is going to be paired against Anthony Rubinetti of Northern Valley Demers. He is the giant killer. He knocked off Brandon Cray at the TCNJ tournament. He's also beaten uh, Agassi. So Tovar is a guy that knows how to win. He knows how to get through brackets. And I think we could see him on the podium. And then there's McClay. After he won his Region 6 title, McClave said he would enjoy the opportunity to wrestle uh, uh, Nick Suriano, and if he can get through the semifinal, he's going to get that chance. As, as a few people said to him after, be careful what you wish for. James, I know there's a guy in the top half of the bottom bracket that you think can maybe make some noise here. Yeah, you know, listen, <laughs> I, when Ruben A beat a Gacy early in the season, I think people kind of, I don't want to say forgot about Ty Gacy, but he <laughs> fell a little bit under the radar. And I think he's really come on strong down the stretch, you know, won a region title. And, uh, you know, listen, obviously I think we're all picking Nick Soriano here, but I do think it'll be a champion versus champion matchup, and the case will get to the final. Pat, who do, who do you see taking the final? I like Ruben Netti. If he can get out of that first match with Tovar, his coach has been telling me this is a, bit, a big bounce-back week for him after he's lost to Sam Schneider at, at districts and regions. I've been a big fan of Rubinetti all season. He has the, that, like you said, Joe, the, the giant slayer mentality. So I like Rubinetti, but I still think a is going to be the guy. So I'm going to say Soriano beats a Gazi in the final. I'm going to I'm going to say a Gazi and Firestone have have a great semifinal. Maybe it goes to overtime, and uh, I'm, I'm going to pick Firestone to get out of that half. I'm going to take Soriano over a Gazi. That's it for us at 120, but keep it here as we're taking a look at all 14 weight classes, and we'll see you next time.